Hello, I am Gopagumar. Welcome to your math tutor. Here we focus on helping you to solve the problems in engineering mathematics in the easiest possible way from an exam point of view. If you are interested in theory, then check out NP10. So, we have learned how to solve the ordinary differential equations in the previous problems. Now, we are going to learn how to solve the differential equation of Cauchy Euler form. Here we have the equation x cube d cube y by dx cube plus 2x square d square y by dx square plus 2y is equal to 10 into x plus 1 by x. Now the question is. How do we identify if the given equation is of Cauchy Euler form? In Cauchy Euler form, dy by dx term will have x as coefficient and d square y by dx square term will have x square as coefficient and d cube y by dx cube term will have x cube as coefficient and so on. This is how we identify a given equation is of Cauchy Euler form. Here in this question, d cube y by dx cube has x cube as coefficient. Similarly, d square y by dx square has x square as the coefficient and dy by dx has x as the coefficient. Therefore, the given question is of Cauchy Euler form. Now we can write x cube d cube y by dx cube as x cube d cube plus 2x square d square y by dx square as 2x square d square plus 2 into y is equal to 10 into x plus 1 by x. Now just put x is equal to e raised to z and z is equal to log x. Replace x d by dx with d dash. Replace x square d square by dx square with d dash into d dash minus 1. And replace x cube d cube by dx cube with d dash into d dash minus 1 into d dash minus 2 in the given equation. Here in this question, we replace x cube d cube with d dash into d dash minus 1 into d dash minus 2 plus 2 into x square d square is replaced with d dash into d dash minus 1 plus 2 into y is equal to 10 into Instead of x, we write e raised to e z plus instead of 1 by x, we write e raised to minus e z. d dash into, after multiplying d dash minus 1 into d dash minus 2, we get d dash square minus 2 d dash minus d dash plus 2 plus 2 d dash square minus 2 d dash plus 2 into y is equal to 10 into e raised to e z plus e raised to minus e z. That is equal to d dash cube minus 2 d dash square minus d dash square plus 2 d dash plus 2 d dash square minus 2 d dash plus 2 into y is equal to 10 into e raised to e z plus e raised to minus e z. Now, minus 2 d dash square plus 2 d dash square becomes 0 and plus 2 d dash minus 2 d dash becomes 0. Then we get d dash cube minus d dash square plus 2 into y is equal to 10 into e raised to e z plus 
e raised to minus z. Now we have to find the solution of y. y will always be the sum of complementary function plus particular integral. Now let us find the complementary function. For that we have to find the auxiliary equation of d dash cube minus d dash square plus 2 into y is equal to 10 into e raised to z plus e raised to minus z. For finding the auxiliary equation, we only need to substitute a variable instead of d dash. Here we are using m. Then we get the auxiliary equation as m cube minus m square plus 2 is equal to 0. m cube minus m square plus 2 can be converted in factors. We get m is equal to minus 1 and m is equal to 1 plus or minus i. We know that the general form of the complex number is alpha plus i beta. Here alpha is the real part, therefore alpha is equal to 1 and beta is the imaginary part, therefore beta is equal to 1. Here we have the real root and complex root. Therefore, the complementary function is equal to c1 e raised to minus z plus e raised to z into c2 cos z plus c3 sin z. That is equal to c1 into e raised to minus z can be written in the form e raised to z whole inverse plus e raised to z into c2 cos z plus c3 sin z that is equal to c1 into we know that e raised to z is equal to x therefore e raised to z whole inverse can be written in the form x raised to minus 1 plus e raised to z is equal to x into we know that z is equal to log x therefore c2 cos z plus c3 sin z becomes c2 cos log x plus c3 sin log x. Now we have to find the particular integral. Now the particular integral is equal to 1 by d dash cube minus d dash square plus 2 into 10 e raised to a z that is equal to 10 into 1 by here the coefficient of a z in the exponential function e raised to a z is 1 then replace d dash cube with 1 cube minus d dash square with 1 square plus 2 into e raised to a z which is equal to 10 by 2 e raised to a z that is equal to 5 e raised to a z we know that e raised to a z is equal to x therefore the particular integral 1 is equal to 5 e raised to a z becomes 5x now we have to find the particular integral 2 which is equal to 1 by d dash cube minus d dash square plus 2 into 10 e raised to minus a z. Here the coefficient of a z in the exponential function e raised to minus a z is minus 1. Now replace d dash cube with minus 1 the whole cube and d dash square with minus 1 the whole square plus 2 into 10 e raised to minus a z that gives the denominator 0 therefore the ordinary rule fails therefore we switch to another method that is we multiply the numerator with a z and differentiate the denominator then d dash cube becomes 
3 d dash square minus d dash square becomes minus 2 d dash into e raised to minus e z which is equal to 10 e z e raised to minus e z by here the coefficient of e z in the exponential function e raised to minus e z is minus 1 then replace d dash square with minus 1 then 3 d dash square becomes 3 into minus 1 the whole square minus 2 d dash becomes minus 2 into minus 1 which is equal to 10 e z e raised to minus e z by 5 therefore 10 by 5 is equal to 2 we know that e raised e z is equal to x and e z is equal to log x therefore e raised to minus e z becomes x raised to minus 1 and e z can be written in the form log x now the complete solution of y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral 1 plus particular integral 2 here the complementary function is c1 into 1 by x plus x into c2 cos log x plus c3 sin log x plus particular integral 1 is 5x and the particular integral 2 is 2 log x by x.